And so with the, the sample, yeah, that obviously doesn't look good. But um, if we start to go into other areas, we can start to build that up. And depending on the, the pressure, we can just kind of fill that in. We'll make it a little irregular. And you start to see that how this using the stamp tool becomes very difficult. One of the things you can do is change the opacity. And this is a trick that a lot of people don't know. If you hit one, two, three, uh, you'll notice that the opacity on your brush is changing. So just by typing six on the keyboard, it goes to 60%. Again, uh, another great way to save time and work very, very fast. So we're just now we're we're blending that in make it look a little more natural um, take some of this blue we'll just start to shape shape these clouds here we'll cut this guy off so right now we need to go back to a hundred if you need to go to a hundred just type in one zero zero on the keyboard and it'll take you right back to uh, 100 percent and so I'm gonna go back and you'll notice hit J S it can be very easily to get confused um, but that's where it's nice to keep this palette open so you can see what you have highlighted so we'll go back to the uh, the healing heal that a bit And then uh, this probably needs a little bit of work. Those highlights probably wouldn't be there on that cloud. And, uh, you know, you would start to massage this area. Uh, but that really gives you a general idea of, of how you can go about um, correcting your images. And you can see how this definitely looks much better. Um, the clouds kind of start to fade into the horizon versus merely just cropping your sky to this this portion it's easier yes but um, um, the quality just is much better when you take the time and effort to to fill that in now the next thing we're gonna do and this is the last step in the tutorial this is a very high resolution image um, I think it's 3,000 by 2,000 pixels and when you blow these things up and print your large 24 by 36 inch uh, renderings which are typical renderings for architecture presentations or whatever have you and uh, you start to see this graininess and this graininess will show up when you print at that scale um, so there's a great tool that you can purchase and it's $49.95 you can get from the image image nomic that's that's my guess, um, but it's called no Noise Wear Professional, and what this plugin does is it will remove. Let me shrink my window here. It will remove uh, noise and graininess out of digital photographs. So if we look. Uh, and, and if you hold down and pan, you can start to pick up some of the graininess in the image. And then when you release the pan, it applies the filter. So all that noise is removed. And although there's, there's a huge amount of settings um, and dials that you can adjust per image, really these, these presets work great. Typically I'll use landscape. Um, and regardless of all these settings, like I was saying, um, you can jump right into this program and, and start to get great results on your images. So it applies the filter. All our grain is removed. Uh, we don't lose any quality with, um, with the way the, the plugin works. It recognizes detail and uh, it only blends, um, as you can see, kind of uniform color gradients, which for whatever reason, digital SLR cameras have trouble um, 
capturing uh, those kind of scenes cleanly. So that was the quick and first video tutorial. Uh, we'll go through a bunch of other techniques over the next coming weeks and uh, show you you can start to take these pieces that we're going to create and put them together with different techniques to uh, either give your renderings a very uh, stylized look or a uh, photorealistic look. So I hope this was helpful and uh, feel free to post any questions or comments below. Thanks.